guys, ready for some new transportation? Now I've checked my videos and my most popular web video is of course the New York to Boston high speed rail. It has already surpassed 500 views. That's a lot. So it seems that people are really understanding my proposals and really seeing the benefits from these proposals. Imagine New York to Boston in 1 hour and 40 minutes. Not bad, right? Attracting a lot of attention. So thank you for all your views and if you have not watched that video, please watch that because that video will help a lot in this video right here. This video is another high speed rail video. It is from New York Grand Central all the way to Philadelphia 30th Street Station. It's a new high speed line and like the previous one, much of it will be on previous tracks. However, unlike the previous one, the average speed will be much higher and the top speed is 350 kilometers per hour, which is around 220 miles per hour, which is much faster than before. So get ready, you're in for a ride. So this line starts at Grand Central. Remember tracks 38 to 42. If you don't get the concept of this, watch some of my other videos, especially the Hudson River tunnels because this will actually utilize that. If you have not realized by the way, my videos all work with each other. They are not separate ones. There's a reason why I kept other projects in here. So this will go along the new tunnel from Grand Central South and will go under 35th Street just north of Penn Station. And if you're realizing why am I starting from Grand Central? Well, the New York to Boston line starts from there. And also, it's just better to shift all long distance rail from Grand Cent I mean Penn Station to Grand Central. Because Grand Central is much more grand. And this is key to the DM trafication of Penn Station, which will, under these proposals, become an entirely New Jersey Transit terminal. So it will join the old tunnel here, it will go with the central New Jersey lines. It will, oh yeah, by the way, a speed of probably only 40 kilometers per hour or 60 will be sufficient. But when it enters a main line, a speed of 230 kilometers per hour will do. I was thinking 300, but then the centripetal, centripetal acceleration would be too high and you would need a lot of force. To deal with that so I think 230 is a nice limit under the Hudson River under the Palisade Plateau it will go it will pass through Secaucus it won't go right and stop there just because it will eliminate probably an unneeded stop as Secaucus won't be used as much with the second Hudson River tunnel if you want some more background on these tunnels check my Hudson River tunnel video that will give you a lot of information that will help this part of this webio. So continuing still 230 kilometers per hour it will join the path line and the other lines that go to Hoboken New Jersey and just west of Newark in Harrison New Jersey a tunnel will be dug for like the I remember the Boston to New York there was express high speed and regional high speed well it's again here too. So the express high speed which has no stops between New York and Philadelphia will go in a tunnel. I believe it's 1.5 miles long. Let me check. 1.52. Close enough. So it will be a tunnel of about 1.5 miles. I was thinking of making it go through here but just due to the structure of the station and how the, this drawbridge is, it's not going to happen. So I just made the line go underneath this entire area and obviously the regional line will go through Newark Penn Station and rejoin the main line. And still this is existing New Jersey Transit tracks, nothing new, they'll just need to be upgraded for, oh yeah, did I tell you, the speeds from here on out are already 350 kilometers per hour it is insanely straight section just 10 miles southwest of New York City you're already 
at a speed limit of 350 kilometers per hour. That's fast. In fact, it's so fast that at the rate, and I calculated all the speed restrictions, all that, you could get between the two cities in 38 minutes. 38 minutes. You could practically work in New York City and live in Philadelphia so that you get to have the higher salary of New York City but the lower cost of living of Philadelphia. So this line will continue south at 350 kilometers per hour. It will basically parallel the New Jersey Turnpike and it will be directly on the existing Northeast Main Line. Right here it has to deviate a little and sorry these few businesses will be needed to destroy, be destroyed but otherwise a possibly unnecessary speed restraint would be required on the existing section. So it will continue and it's also to note that this is nice dense area. High speed rail loves dense areas. So it will continue, continue straight all the way to Metro Park Station then the speed should decrease to 250 kilometers per hour to prepare for the turns near Metuchen if I pronounce that correctly and probably right after route 287 it will increase back to 350 kilometers per hour it will go at that speed through New Brunswick I don't think a stop at New Brunswick is like really worth it I was debating that but then Again, you have lots of regional lines and Trenton and New York aren't that far away. So it will continue at 350 whoa, kilometers per hour for all this distance. It's not like the last one in which only a small section was 300. Most of the track is at high speed and it's at 350. And it's also mostly on the existing main line. Actually, all of it is. Any deviation is just for a couple of miles at most. It will go through the Princeton station. That will be a nice rail fan location as it already is, I believe. The speed on this line is already 135 miles per hour, which is 220 kilometers per hour. So it won't be much of an upgrade to get it up to 350. It's really just a catenary power and AC current transfer and that stuff so it will continue Hamilton now Trenton is the next regional high-speed stop there are four tracks in the middle guess what you guessed right the two tracks here will be for express high speed and the outer tracks right here will be for regional high speed and the other tracks will be for New Jersey Transit so the line will continue across the Delaware Bridge into I think Morrisville is a name something like that Pennsylvania Pennsylvania that's actually where I live I don't live in this part of Pell PA I live in Northeast PA but still it's my own state so still 350 kilometers per hour to we'll go right through the Levittown Eastern Levittown area And it will also go under right under the new bridge that I proposed for the Route 276 and Route 95 interchange. And this looks interesting. This is another video that I did previously. If you want to watch that, click the link on this red wheel. So continuing south, still at 350 kilometers per hour. I think some minor curve straightening is required here, but it's nothing of too much of a problem. Also here, I think some curve straightening is definitely required. I probably forgot to do that. So it enters, it's about to, this creek right here is where it enters Philadelphia city. But to do that and to avoid these annoying turns, another 1.5 mile of tunnel have to be dug to keep 350 km per hour of speed. But besides that, it's straight. And again, now this is more like a two mile tunnel. And also from here, the speed is 350. It'll drop to 250 km per hour as the turns are a little more harsh and it's dense. So it's not really possible to curve straighten them that much. 
it's also approaching Philadelphia. So now the speed is 250. It'll pass over North Philadelphia Station. I was also debating a regional stop there, but it's not worth it. Because I was planning other proposals that actually connect the northern and western suburbs to this line. So as of now, no, but it may become a possibility. And it'll continue at 250 kilometers per hour until this bridge will cross over Girard Road or something like that. I know it's something like that. I can't remember if it's Road or Boulevard. And then it'll go through the Philadelphia Zoo area interlocking. I don't know its exact name, but I just call it the Zoo area interlocking at only, I think, 60 kilometers per hour. It has to go really slowly to enter. Philadelphia, we're already there. That was short, right? And it will be shorter when the new high-speed line is built. However, to complete this journey, a nice station is required. Unfortunately, the main line platforms of 30th Street Station suck. They're dingy, they're dark, and they're dirty. So, I would not DM Trackify 30th Street Station, but I would just upgrade it to much more modern and appealing materials that will appeal to the long distance traveler. Now, it's important to note that people from Philadelphia aren't limited to just going to New York City. They can go all the way to Boston and even connect to some regional lines along the way. So, this line effectively so far will serve probably 100 million people. So it's a big economic boost. What I like about the East Coast is that all the major cities are on a straight line. It's not like other places that they're in triangle. You have to build like three separate high speed lines to connect them. Only one will do here. Now that's not it. In a future video, I will connect Philadelphia with the nation's capital, Washington DC and it'll add more than 50 more million people into this high-speed rail corridor. So please stay tuned for that. I don't like doing two high-speed rail videos at once, but I'm seriously considering that. Anyway, guys, let's hope this will become a reality. Let's hope they don't build some super futuristic maglev thing that cuts, the, like it's 38 minutes, it'll only cut it to 30. Let's hope they don't do that, save their money, and you'll still have a very nice, functional, and far-reaching, far-reaching meaning it serves Trenton and Newark as well, high-speed line. There you go. Thank you for watching. Please check all my other videos and subscribe for more videos like this.